Welcome back to Trials Rising. In this video, we are going through all 62 collectibles, which will get you an achievement, and there's also a squirrel outfit, I think. Before we get into this, just very quickly, I'm going to try and make this video as quick as possible. I'm using the guide from Maca91 Productions, because I wouldn't have a clue where to start with some of these squirrels. So if you're interested in taking a look at his channel, he does a lot of different guides, achievements, and stuff like that. There will be a link in the description. And I might be terrible with some of the track pronunciations, so you're going to just have to cut me some slack with that. But the first one we're going to be doing is on the Breaking Bad track. This is the very first track that you'll come across when you start the career. Okay, when you get to this part, checkpoint number five, you want to go slowly up here. And I'm going to use the Mantis, like Maka did, for the majority of the tracks. You can bail out to get these. You don't have to do most of the tracks with zero mistakes. So if we slowly back up and break all of the wooden planks that block this off you're going to see the squirrel inside this building next up collectible number two we have the track happy camper when you get to this part just past checkpoint eight you're going to come to checkpoint nine you want to go up here and when you get onto this flat part you want to slowly back up lean forward go all the way down underneath and then reverse and your squirrel is there sitting on top of the fire. Squirrel number three is found on MX and the city. When you get to checkpoint number seven on this track, you want to go as slow as possible down this ramp here. And then we're gonna let all the traffic pass by and we're gonna slowly drop off the edge, land on the road. And then after a little bit of time, we're going to see a truck passing by that has the squirrel in front of it. You can see it coming up now behind this car. And we're going to let the truck run us over, but we would have collected the squirrel. I had already done one squirrel. I found it randomly whilst I was playing the game. That got me five acorns. Then two collectibles later, you get another five acorns, I think it is. This time... We have to collect 5, we are then awarded 10 acorns, 700 XP and squirrel gloves. So I think by the end of it, you're going to have the entire outfit. It just comes in dribs and drabs as you're gathering up the collectibles. Next up, we are on the track Yellowstone Caldera. When you get to this part here, that's going to break. Go down this ramp and you're going to end up at checkpoint number 7. Then from this checkpoint, this might actually take a couple of attempts. You want to drop off here, go down, and as soon as you hit this water, you want to bail out. And inside the bottom of the hot air balloon, you can see your character midair. You will see the squirrel there. The next track is going to be Canyon Crash. This one is right at the beginning of the track. If we drop down off the first platform, you want to slow down without actually crashing. And when the timer hits 30 seconds, you're going to see a bird that flies straight in front of you, like in between this gap. And it's going to be holding the squirrel. So this one might take a few attempts. This is a little bit on the trickier side. 10 seconds to go. You can see it coming. I don't know if that's too early. No. Oh, I did get it. As we was falling down. Next up is lights, camera, action. On this track, when you get to checkpoint number seven, instead of going straight up that ramp, what you want to do is slowly drop off the edge of it, if I can get enough power in my bike. Without crashing, please don't crash. Smash that pallet, go through this door, and this is actually quite cool. It's a secret, like, part of the track. You go onto a ramp in, like, a green screen room, and then there's actually someone sat at their computer, and you can grab the squirrel there. Don't worry if you make a mistake, you go too fast or something like that, because once you're in the green screen room, you can reset to the checkpoint and you can just do it again. Next up, we're going to the track that's called Lumbering On. And on this one, when you get to checkpoint number 8, we're going to do that ramp, we're going to go all the way down this air vent, but we're going to do it slowly because we need to go to the other side of this roof, and then we need to very slowly drop off the edge onto this ramp, and there you go. Once you've reversed all the way back, you will find the next squirrel. So we've just done the next stage of picking up collectibles. We've got the squirrel gloves, 10 acorns, and 700 XP. Next up, we have hard hat zone. This one is very simple. 
This is the one that I randomly found whilst I was playing the game. And all you want to do is come off the first platform, reverse, and in this little tunnel you can see the outline of it there. That is your next squirrel. Now the tracks in the American Rookies League are out of the way, we are moving into the Euro Starter Cup. So in order to get these squirrels, you're going to have to go through the first stage, if I quickly filter it again. You're going to have to complete this stadium finals in order to unlock the next lot of squirrels. The first track we're going to is up in Scotland. This one is called the True Scotsman. In the True Scotsman track, you want to get to checkpoint number four. You want to go really slowly down this ramp so that you don't go flying off the edge. And you'll see the ramp underneath us. We just want to try and land on that ramp, back it up, and there is the next squirrel. This time round, after we got the squirrel gloves, we need to collect seven collectibles. We are awarded 1,000 XP and 15 acorns for this one. And our next squirrel is on the track Automate, or however you say that. On this track, when you reach checkpoint 11, you're going to do a backflip off here, get flung by this tomato catapult and you're land in all sorts of different areas but as long as you're at checkpoint number 12 it doesn't matter if you land on top of this massive like building all you want to do when you're here is reverse make sure you get enough speed so that you smash through there like that I just I didn't think it was gonna work then it's gonna take you into a secret room it will automatically drop you onto your next squirrel. Next up is the track that is called Lynx World. When you get to checkpoint number 15 on this track, this one seems a little bit trickier, but you want to land up on here and this platform is going to sling you forward. But you're going to want to trigger it, bail out, and then you need to steer yourself to try and land underneath the platform that's just sprung up. So we're going to keep trying. This might take me multiple attempts. Please. Yes, there we go. Second time. Lucky. It's going to drop you into that room. There is your next squirrel. Next up, we have tilting at windmills. When you get to checkpoint number four on this track, you want to let the windmill take you up. Then we're going to have to try and climb over onto the top part. Because you can see the squirrel up there. You can bail out, you can stay on your bike. I chose to bail out just to guarantee that I grabbed the squirrel. But there we go, that is the next one. This time we are on the track Medieval Flare. At the very beginning of this track, all you want to do is go really slowly instead of jumping across. And as long as we don't crash... We are going to land there and then you just want to back up and you'll see our little squirrel friend underneath. Next up we have Below Bucharest. When you get to the part on this track where you go into the sewers, checkpoint number 10, you'll see the squirrel as we get down here. He's hiding up in that little bit there. If I don't crash I can show you. You'll see him there, just a quick glimpse. And what we need to do is carry on through this sewer section. And when we come out, we're going to get shot up by water. When we come out, lean back, kind of bail out. I think we need, we need more height. So I'm actually going to have to restart the entire track. So again, we're going to be shot up by the water. We're going to lean ourselves back, jump off, go as far left as we can, make it over the ramp luckily, slide down here. That's going to drop us into the room. We have grabbed that squirrel. Now we are onto the track. I believe it's called Niet Problem. From the very start of this track, this one might be a little bit on the tougher side. What we need to do is get to the part where we see a missile, which is here just after the first checkpoint. We need to land on it so that our bike gets set on fire. If it lets me go up there, please. There we go. Now we need to continue, jump across the water. Make sure your bike stays on fire. If not, you're going to have to restart the entire track. And you need to keep your speed up so that you don't crash or explode. When you get to checkpoint five, drop into this tube. Then we're gonna get launched into the sky. You can see the squirrel there and we're gonna float up like we are a missile. There we go, that is our next squirrel. 
At this stage, we've done seven out of the seven, so you should have got your next award being 15 acorns and 1000 XP. And just to clear it up about that last track, everything is automatic once you are launched into the sky. You don't have to manoeuvre to grab that squirrel, the game does it for you. The next track is going to be the Flying Fin. There's two ways to do this one. First off, we can land there, do a little wheelie, and then actually reverse if I get it right. You can do it that way, and then you can just roll down the hill, and once you get to the bottom, which hasn't actually worked, you need to try and land on the squirrel. And what I'm going to do is show you the other way you can do it, because this seems to be a lot easier. If you come up to this first checkpoint, don't actually trigger the checkpoint. Then just roll down the hill, and when you get to that part, bail out backwards, and it might take a few attempts, so I'd manage to do it first time, but you can land on the squirrel. That is a hell of a lot easier than pulling off a wheelie and doing whatever you call this backwards up a ramp. Now that we've moved on to the next bit of progress with the collectibles, we have to get 9. This will award us 2000 XP, 20 acorns and squirrel shoes. Now we move into the third league which is the Asian novice class. The first track in this area is going to be beach bum. This one is at the start of the track. There's a little bit of difficulty to it. We kind of need to edge our wheels up to there. Lean back and bail over. We need to try and do it so that we grab the squirrel. We've got to try and make it over that board at the back. And make sure when you're doing this you don't hold down your bailout button. Just press it because if you hold it you will grab onto things. I finally did it. The best way to do this is very difficult. You want to lean forward whilst reversing and then just launch yourself up and over. So don't even reverse that much, just lean forward, throw yourself back and you should get over it. So one more time if we can do it. There we go. That is the next squirrel. Next up we are going to the track Grave of Giants. On this track when you get to checkpoint 6, if that like steel rod gets out of my way, whatever that is. That piece of metal. You'll see on the floor there, there's the number six. This is checkpoint number six. We need to actually bail out off that ramp. Hold Y or your bailout button to get the wrecking ball to drop and smash that pipe open. Then we're taken into a room with fans. We need to maneuver our character to progress through this room. It should be fairly easy. This one, we're actually going to have to wait a moment, like throw ourselves down. So that we get some height off the fan. And then we should land on the right one. Push over to the left one and make it past the one on the right. Then just carry on through. And once you shoot out of that pipe at the top, you'll see the squirrel there. Next up, we have balloons over Bagan. I'm not sure how you say that one. This one is right at the beginning of the track, pretty much. What we want to do is go slowly here. You want to land in this... I don't know what you would call it, but it's basically the part where you sit in a hot air balloon. Like, I don't think they would be like this in real life, just in case you fell out or something. But when it leans back, it's basically time to jump. If we make it, I don't think we made it. No, we haven't made it. Going to have to restart. Okay, so we have to wait a little bit longer, but there we go. That is our next squirrel that sat on top of this hot air balloon. Next up, we are on the track called Ship It. And on this track, when you get to checkpoint number six, you'll have this container that is going to lift up. But if you go onto it very slowly and then immediately reverse back off it, you're going to reveal a button here, which is going to explode the container above you. Then if you ride up nice and slowly into the container, you have your next squirrel. Next up, we have Chinese cliffs. When you get to checkpoint number seven on this track, all you want to do is go slowly up this ramp to set your front wheel on fire. Then you want to reverse and you're going to set off a charge that's going to blow up the rocks. Slowly ease your way down that little ramp. And then in here, we have the next squirrel. 
Next up, we are on the track Thousand Cloud Village. When you get to checkpoint number 13 on this, you are going to see this bell, and if you bail out, you grab onto the bell, just keep swinging backwards and forwards until you hear the bell ring. You need to do this two or three times, but I'm going to do it a few more just to make sure that it's done, because you have to do this or the squirrel will not show up. When you've done it a few times, you can simply reset to the previous checkpoint, continue with the track, the mistakes don't matter from here on out. And when we get to the very end of the track, as you'll see in a moment, if we go up that little bridge bit, you will see the squirrel there, fairly easy to get, and then you can just complete the track. Now we're on to Spirit of the Mountain. When you get to checkpoint number 5, you want to go past the boulder, go down the ramp, but don't go too quick. You kind of need to get it just right. So that you make it underneath. Go down here, you're going to come into a water section. And then when you accelerate, you're going to kind of boost through the water. Be careful because there's lots of mines, but if you mess this up, I'm pretty sure you can just reset to the previous checkpoint and do it all over again. And when you get shot out, you don't want to bail out, you need to land on there and in this little cage you are going to have your next squirrel. Next up, we are on the track Wheels of Steel. When you get to checkpoint 11 on this one, you need to go up this ramp and you're going to want to bail out. Hold Y or whatever your bailout button is to grab onto this like massive rope like chain thing. Make sure you're swinging left and right because you need to time it to make it through that door bit that I've just been crushed by. Oh my god, that is horrible. Oh, I've been stretched. That's it, that's game over for me. When you're doing this, try and grab the very bottom of the chain. And then you want to grab onto that one. And then all we need to do is try and swing enough, let go, and fly into the squirrel. We was very lucky to actually grab that one. And now we've done the next bit of progress. We've done 9 out of 9. We get the squirrel shoes, 20 acorns, and 2,000 XP. Now we are into the next league in the game. This one is Asia Masters. And the first track in this league is going to be Ruined Run. When you get to the fifth checkpoint, you'll see there is a little lift thing here. You want to just land on it so that it triggers, then reverse off the back of it. And you'll see underneath is our little squirrel buddy. Just sitting there waiting to be collected. The next reward for getting the collector balls, you have to do another 9. You will be awarded 20 acorns and 2000 XP. And the next track we are going into is Firebase Faceplant. And as you've just seen there, when you reach checkpoint number 7... This container is going to drop down, and all you want to do is back up into it. The side's going to fall off, and that will reveal your next squirrel. Next up, we have Siberian Express. And this track, it's highly recommended to use the Mantis, because when you get to checkpoint number 13, what you need to do is head towards the finish, lean back forward, and bail out so that you go in between the two containers. And you've got to try and skip across. See, I still can't make it. The squirrel is waiting the other side. Hopefully this time... Oh, we just tickled it. But you need to lean back. And as you're leaning forward before you get to the finish line, bail out, go in between the two containers, skip across the train, and grab yourself that squirrel. Next up, we are on a pretty good wall. This one actually contains parts from the entire track. But don't worry, you are safe to make mistakes. You don't have to do a clean run. And we're just going to carry on through the track. And when you get to the second checkpoint, you want to go slowly so that you can bail out and land on this little button thing that's going to launch some fireworks. Every time you hit one of these firework button things, it's going to save your progress. So you can reset to the previous checkpoint and your progress will be saved. We now need to make it through the track to get to the fifth checkpoint. 
which is coming up at the top of this little ramp. And what we need to do here is go up, bail out, and head backwards. Okay, we need to do it a little bit better than that. And all you want to do is land on that one there. So it's just before the little ramp. If I reset to the checkpoint, try and get your bike straight, bail out straight up, then move yourself to the left, so backwards, so that you land on that button. Now we have to carry on progressing through the track. We have to get to checkpoint number 11. And for this one, we need to go onto this platform and we need to bail out so that we come short of this ramp. Not like that. We need to try and fall just short of the ramp, which is perfect. Because on the level below, I'm pretty sure we hit that. Then you can reset to the checkpoint, carry on with the track. And when you get to the finish, which I believe isn't too far away, maybe a couple of checkpoints. You need to lean back, lean forward and launch yourself again. So that you go into the room that's behind the finish line. And so that we can grab our little squirrel friend, which is right there. So don't worry about making mistakes. You can see in the top left that I've done 10. You've just got to make sure you land on the buttons so the fireworks are launched. Once you've done all three, and remember progress saves, so you can retry as many times as you need to. Just after checkpoint 2, 5 and 11. Then once you've done all three, bail out across the finish line so that you don't complete the track. Land in this little room, grab your squirrel. Next up, we are on Vietnam Vaults. On this one, when you get to the third checkpoint, you can see the fire in front of us. What we need to do is land on this ramp here, sit here for a few seconds, you'll see the explosion, which is going to open up this secret place. Then we drop in, there's a platform you land on. Then I recommend going really slowly, so that you don't hit the barrels and try and time it for when the barrel's going forward. And then we need to try and make it across. So we're going to wait for the barrel to swing the other way. And then for this one, I'm pretty sure you can just drive underneath it. There we go. Next up, we are on Anchor Wat. And when you get to checkpoint number 13, what we need to do is go up this ramp, bail out backwards, and you should land up there and grab your next squirrel. We've just got an achievement, find 30 of the squirrel collectibles. So number 31 and this one marks the halfway point. We are on the track Siberian Skies. In this one, it's going to be a little bit tricky for some of you. I might even have to do it multiple times as well. But at the very start of the track, you want to reverse. There is going to be a button that you need to press. Once you've done that, you need to progress with this track without making a single mistake. If you make one mistake, make sure you restart the entire track. And as long as I can do it, if we take our time, it shouldn't be too difficult. We want to progress a little bit further than we are now. And you'll see that in front of the ramp at checkpoint 4, there is a little trap door that's opened up. And if we land inside there, we luckily got the squirrel. But try and land in there without crashing. It doesn't matter too much if you crash as you saw. But our little squirrel friend is going to be waiting in that secret room. It's actually got to the stage where I need to complete the stadium finals to progress into different leagues. Because halfway through takes you through the first, what, we're on the fourth league? You go through American Rookies, Euro Starter Cup, Asian Novice Class. Then you go into Asian Masters. So I'm going to quickly do the stadium finals progress to the next part of the game, then I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I've just completed the stadium finals. We are now into the Euro Semi Pro League. The first track is Eiffel Tower. Okay, when you get to this part of the track where you're launched left, right and centre, you get to checkpoint 8. What we're going to want to do is actually reverse down here. It might be a little bit easier to bail out with this one, but you need to land on that platform down there. Just underneath the ramp where we've just been launched from. And if my guy doesn't actually get glitched out. 
I'm so close. I'm just trying to wriggle my way there. There we go. We managed to collect it. So you can either reverse back down there, get lucky enough to land on this platform, reverse down this like ramp, gather the collectible that way, or you can bail out and hopefully slide down the ramp, or you can bail out, land on the ramp and do what I did and wriggle your way to the collectible. And there you go, just to show you that it's possible to do it and still actually ride down there. Next up, we are on One Man's Trash. And on this track, when you get to checkpoint number 11, you want to go up the ramp and bail out into that little section there. And I think this is called Plinko, I can't remember what it's called. But you need to make your way down to the bottom and you'll see in the middle there, you have your squirrel. You can do this as many times as you need to. If you restart the checkpoint, you can just bail out back into there. And there we go. You will eventually get it. Once you've got the squirrel, you can just reset the checkpoint and you can exit the track. So we've done the next 9 out of 9 for 20 acorns and 2000 XP. Next up, we are on Greek Grapes. When you get to the fourth checkpoint on this track, you need to go over this little, like the top of the well. And then before you reach checkpoint number five, you need to back up, up this ramp, drop into the well. And we actually have a little maze we have to go through. Which involves us swimming. So when you first drop into here, I'll go through the entire thing so that you know exactly where to go. You want to go right as soon as you can. Then carry on through here. Then you need to go down. This doesn't take too long. We need to take the first right again. Then we need to go down as far as we can. And it's just simply moving your analog stick to swim. And then when it comes up with the left, we need to go through here. And then when we come out of the end of here, we just go straight down and our squirrel is going to be waiting for us. This time around with the rewards, we need to do nine collectibles again. We get 3000 XP, 20 acorns and squirrel pants. And we are headed into the track Bucharest breakdown. On this one, we get to checkpoint number seven, go into the sewers, and at checkpoint number eight, instead of going all the way down, you just want to stop and reverse, and you can see him bouncing up and down behind these, I think they're rubbish bags or something. But just keep reversing for a minute, and you should have gathered that collectible. The next track is Pripyat. When you get to checkpoint number 10 on this track, it's going to make you go up this ramp and do a backflip which is then going to crumble some of the building. And if you very slowly drop off the edge, I don't know how I've done that, I got really lucky with that, it's going to bring you onto a lower down platform. And what you need to do is just drive forward, you're going to see the glow, the squirrel is sat down there on the toilet, but this part actually makes you crash, so it's probably best if you bail out and land on top of the squirrel. You can do it both ways, but to make it that little bit easier so that you can actually guide your character, I would recommend bailing out. The next track is called Finish Flash. When you get to checkpoint number 11 on this track, make your way onto the elevator and go backwards off it. Kind of like that, but you've got to do it a little bit better. so that you land on this platform below. Then make your way backwards, reversing, until you fall off the edge. You're going to land on this ice, smash through it, and then you've just got to do a little bit of swimming, and then grab your little buddy squirrel. That is the next collectible done. Next up, we are on Frozen Fjord. When you get to checkpoint number 11 on this track, you're at the very end of the track. This one can be on the trickier side of things, but you need to make your way up this ramp. And then when you get to this ramp here, you can actually see the squirrel as you come up. If we go up again, you can see he's sat on top of the Christmas tree. 
So we need to make it onto this ramp. Then lean. you have to kind of lean back, like pull a bit of a wheelie and launch yourself forward. It is going to take a little while to grab this one. That might be the one. Oh, that is the one. There we go. That is the next collectible and we move on. The next track we are doing is UK Up. And when you get to a checkpoint number eight, what you want to do is go very slowly up this ramp, bail out into the river, and the rest of it should be an automatic thing, where we just end up being taken with the current down this river. You don't have to do any steering with your character or anything, and it's going to lead you right into the next squirrel. It's now got to the point where I have to do the stadium finals again. So I'm going to do those and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so we've done that stadium finals. We are now into the American Trials League. The first track we're doing in this league is going to be Lumber Party. On this track, when you get to the 13th checkpoint, you want to go... I think we've actually missed it. We have missed it. I'm going to have to restart the entire track. Because I took... Oh, wait, no. It comes back along. Okay, this one's all about timing. You can see the squirrel there. We just need to make it onto that bloody carriage. Okay, so you're safe to just restart the checkpoint. The train keeps coming. And then if you time it right... It's all about the timing. There we go, I got it. Next up, we are headed to Alcatraz. When you get to checkpoint number 11 on this track, you want to carry on a little bit and instead of rushing off the end of this ramp, you want to go very slowly, use your back wheel to flip the bike without crashing into the secret room behind and underneath. That is your next squirrel. The next track is Venice Beach 360. When you reach the second checkpoint in this track, you need to go up this ramp and you need to bail out to try and land inside that air vent. Please, yes. There's wind going through this, so the suction will take you. You don't have to do anything else. And you'll grab your next squirrel. Sometimes, if the squirrel's on the motion where it's going up, you will go underneath it. So just restart. It's not too far into the track. And grab yourself that squirrel. We've now done the next bit of progress. We've done 9 out of 9. So that means we've got 3000 XP, 20 acorns and squirrel pants. We're now moving on to the track Unhappy Camper. And I think after this I have to do even more stadium finals. On this one, at the very start of the track, you just want to go backwards. Bail out. And this one can be a little bit time consuming. But you need to try and use the barrels and the explosions from them to land on the squirrel that is behind the start line. We've unlocked the next bit of progress for rewards, and after gathering 10 of the collectibles, we get 5,000 XP, 25 acorns, and the squirrel hoodie. And because I now have to do stadium finals to progress and unlock more tracks, I have to get to level 58 to unlock this stadium finals. This is going to take me a little bit of time, so I will see you shortly. I got to level 59 because the stadium finals, like, they increased my level, blah, blah, blah. But I got to 58, unlocked the stadium, did that tournament, and now we've unlocked the next set of levels. So the first one in the league that is called Pro Tour C is called Wingman. And when you get to checkpoint number 11 on this track, instead of flying through the rings, you want to go very slowly, drop off, and land on this platform underneath back up into this ring and then you need to get used to the thruster thing because you have to guide your bike through the rings and I think it's after this one you want to go down and I kind of missed it so we're going to have to start that again and there we go we've grabbed the squirrel the next track is black gold when you get to checkpoint number 12 on this track you need to slowly go up this ramp and you see the pipe underneath us, we need to land on that. This one can take a little while to do. There we go, done it a second time. Literally just drive through that pipe, crash, 
is going to eject you and you should have collected the squirrel from that. You can see him just bouncing up and down if you focus on where the fire is. The next track is Toxic Behaviour. When you get to checkpoint number 8 on this track, what you want to do is speed up this ramp in front of us, but point upwards, like make sure your character is pointing upwards, because we need to bail out and land on top of an air vent. Kind of like that, there we go, first time, there is our squirrel. Next up is Stonehenge. This is another one that's kind of tricky. From the very start, you want to drop down onto this ramp without crashing. And you'll see there is a squirrel button. From this point on, you are... Okay, didn't realise that happens. From the point of pressing the squirrel button, you are not allowed to crash. If you crash, you have to restart the track and you have to do this bit all over again. What we need to do is actually progress through the track and we need to get to a certain checkpoint because there's going to be a hole in the ground that we can go in. But don't worry, this entire squirrel doesn't have to be faultless. I will explain as we progress through. So we're at checkpoint number five. Just take your time with it and you should be good. And there we go. You can see the hole is underneath us. So when you get to checkpoint number seven, as long as you have zero mistakes and you press the squirrel button at the start, you can back up into this hole. As you've seen there, make sure you do not crash when you're backing into that hole because you have to start all over again. So when you've backed up and you've done it without making a mistake, you're going to be dropped into this secret area. Don't worry if you make a mistake, you don't have to start the entire thing again from here. You can just reset back to that checkpoint. But this area you're in now, you have to do this with zero mistakes or the squirrel won't show up. But like that, if we make a mistake, we can just start here. We don't have to go all the way back to the beginning of the track, do the button and then progress to checkpoint 7 without making a mistake. So just take your time, it's not too difficult in here. And apparently there's a code somewhere that's going to be important for the end of this collectible run. So there's your squirrel. I'm not sure where the code is. Next up, we are on the track Soul Searching. At the very beginning of this track, you want to go backwards. And you want to lean forward, then back. And you have to throw yourself through that door. And when you get in here, if you can wriggle your way down. Oh, please game, wriggle. There we go. Sometimes you'll get a smooth transition of sliding down that ramp and you'll go straight into the squirrel. Other times you will have to do a bit of wiggling, but that is your next squirrel. Next up, we have Shanghai Scrapers. Again, for this one, at the very beginning of the track, you want to go backwards. Break through these gates, like fences, whatever they are. And you have to bail out backwards into the bin kind of thing that's at the back there. And you will get the squirrel from this track. Next up, we have Rally of the Kings. When you get to checkpoint 12 on this track, you need to reverse. And make sure you press in the squirrel button. And then what you have to do is get to checkpoint 15 without making a mistake. If you make a mistake, you have to go all the way back to the start so that you can trigger the squirrel button at checkpoint 12. So make sure that squirrel button's pressed in. Take your time with doing this. You don't have to rush through it, you just have to make zero mistakes. When you get to checkpoint 15, you are safe. You can make mistakes from here on out. But what you have to do is land on this down here. And then we're going to sit back. We're going to reverse all the way down. And we're going to backflip just so that we make it. And you'll see that this hole is opened up. 
So we're going to drop into there. Then you have to complete this part of the track. Apparently there's another code down here. But I don't have a clue. Like, I know what the codes do. But I don't know where the codes are. Like, I don't have a clue about the codes. Except for the end part where we actually need them. But if we progress through here. I don't know if we're allowed to make a mistake down here. I must... Oh, okay. So that actually starts the water rising and we should be safe to make a mistake down here because you can just reset to that checkpoint please I'm going to have to do it all over again and then what you want to do when you get to the top is just keep driving and you'll go straight through your squirrel and now I have to get to level 68 to unlock the next lot of stadium finals because the next track that has one of the collectibles in isn't available until after this league. Okay, you'll see at the top of the screen I had to hit level 68 to get the stadium thing to unlock. This has taken a hell of a lot longer than I wanted it to. But the next track is Ski or Don't and this is in the Pro Tour B League. Okay, on this one there's two steps you have to do the first one being when you get to the first checkpoint make sure you reverse and pull that lever down so that the squirrel actually spawns where it's supposed to then we're just going to progress through the track hopefully i can get this right and when you get to checkpoint six what you want to do is reverse to get as much speed as you can and then you want to bail out to try and land in the ski lift with the squirrel. So lean back and forward. I just clipped it with my foot. But lean back a little bit as you're going up the ramp. When you get towards the top, you want to lean forward and bail out so that you get height and distance. The next track is Venice Beach 1080. This squirrel actually requires the helium bike, so make sure you've bought it. And you just want to go to the first ramp, reverse... Bang into that wall, it will knock the wall down. Keep reversing, and our little squirrel friend will be there. We've just completed the next stage of the collectibles, so we get our rewards, 5,000 XP, 25 acorns, and a squirrel hoodie. Next up, we are on the Temple of Trials. So for this one, you want to squeeze through this gap at the very beginning of the track. You want to hit that squirrel button, and then progress past the first checkpoint when this pillar falls down you want to go backwards into this hole and apparently there's another code here i don't know what the codes are but we need to try and get through this this might be easier with the helium Okay, and then we get there, we get lifted up, and there is our squirrel. The next stage of the collectible hunting, the rewards we will get a 10,000 XP, 30 acorns, and a squirrel helmet. We have to do 10 collectibles. These are the final 10. And the next track is going to be Chinese Gauntlet. You can see in the distance when you're at checkpoint 7, you can see in that tall structure that the glow of the squirrel is there. What you need to do is sit relatively close to the back of this little platform. You're going to want to wheelie and lean forward, making it far enough so that you can grab this rope. And make sure when you're on this rope, you're going to be swinging. You have to let go at the end so that you drop in. If you hold on, then you won't be able to make it in there. But that is your Chinese gauntlet squirrel. Next up, we have Red Steel. When you get to checkpoint 11, what you want to do is go to the top of the ramp until the pipe explodes, bail out backwards and make sure you land. You're supposed to land in the minecart, but that will do. The pipe will explode and then if you bail out, come backwards, make sure you're in line with the like train track. As you're dropping, you should land in the minecart. It'll take you on like a split second journey. You will get that squirrel. Okay, the next track is Nippon Springs. If you plan to go for these collectibles, make sure you're level 78. 
I've had to do so many stadium finals and it's just made this recording drag out. It's pretty much taken up a whole day. But we're now on to Pro Tour A. When you get to checkpoint number three, you need to go up this hill and you need to land at checkpoint four right up here. Then all you want to do is bail out into this water And if we sit around and we wait, the water will start draining. Then we're going to get shot out of that chute and completely miss the squirrel for some reason. If you had the same problem as me and you missed the squirrel, just reset to the last checkpoint and it will do it again. There we go. Second time lucky. Next up, we're on the track Container Cowboy. When you get to checkpoint number six, you want to rest on this container, wait for it to keep swinging, and then when it goes backwards, you need to reverse off and you can bail out, land on the little ledge. You can get your bike up there, but it's easier to bail out, and that is the next squirrel. Next up, we are on Ever Ever Everest. On this one, at the very beginning, you just want to reverse and we need to bail out so that we can grab this basketball not that i can even grab it now we need to guide ourselves up to the top of the mountain the thruster will do it all for you you just have to use up and down try and stay relatively close to the ground And you can use right on your analog stick to speed it up. And when you get past the finish line, keep going up and you're going to see the squirrel there. So you can just let go, land on this hill, slide down, the squirrel is yours. Then we have the track UK Upper. When you get to the second checkpoint, what you need to do is go pretty quick, but you need to slam your bike without crashing so slam your bike onto there you'll hear the barrel explode and then what you need to do is actually reverse back off you'll see a hole in the ground and your squirrel is going to be there where the track has split from the explosion next up we are at liberty station when you get to checkpoint 13 and these tracks are actually quite difficult now we need to bail out twice. The first time, we need to go straight up. And then, as we get further down this wall... Oh, apparently we don't need to do it twice. And that is actually squirrel number 60. We have two to go until we are done. Next up, we have Hollywood Hills. And this is the penultimate squirrel. When you get to checkpoint number 12, what you want to do is slowly go off the edge. Land on this ramp. Let it take you backwards, and there is your squirrel. Some of you might find it easier to bail out, but it is possible both ways, bike and bail out. Okay, so we're on the final track, Moto Gladiators. This is back in the Euro Semi Pro League, and in order to get this one, you have to have all 61 before. If you have any less, the door won't open, you won't be able to go into the secret room, where we need to input some of the codes in order to get the final squirrel. So when we get to checkpoint number five, what we need to do is we need to head up onto the seesaw. We need to slowly back ourselves down here and then go and sit on this elevator. When we are down the bottom, it's going to reveal this door. Wait for this to open. And then what we have to do is get all the way through this. This isn't too difficult. And then as you can see there, LXI, that is 61 in Roman numerals, meaning any less than 61, you're not coming in. So the door's going to open. When we're in here, there's going to be three things on the wall. So those, I don't know what the codes were or whatever that we had to do earlier. But those three symbols apparently represent Rally of the Kings, Temple of Trials and Stonehenge, which is where you get the codes from. And then we actually have to input the codes. 
The first one is going to be, and you can use D-pad or analog sticks to do this. I'm going to use my D-pad because it's easier. The first one we need to go right, left, down, right. Then we need to go down, left, up, down. Then we need to go left, right, up, right. Once we've done that, the door underneath us is going to open. And if we drop inside there, there is another part where we have to sit on this platform and try to avoid the hammers that are swinging. And it doesn't matter if you crash, you can just restart the checkpoint. It's just about knowing where to sit when these hammers are coming across. So we've made the first checkpoint, we now need to do exactly the same thing again. You pretty much just want to sit at the front. I've panicked a little bit there. There we go. So the next checkpoint, these are like catapult things that are going to spring us up. I luckily landed on that one. Okay, one more go on this. Nope. So you need to get the speed right. They do reset, so you can do it again. Just accelerate very gently. And we've made it to the next checkpoint. And this is the last part where it's like puzzle based kind of thing. We need to go faster on these catapults. A little bit faster, not too much. Because that keeps happening. And on this third one, you need to just sit there. And it's going to lift us up. Doors are going to close. And look at that bad boy. That is number 62. That is the diamond squirrel. And once we quit out of the track, diamond squirrel, 10 gamer score. Find the diamond squirrel collectible. 10 out of 10 on the collectibles. So our reward is 10,000 XP, 30 acorns and the squirrel helmet and that is it so if we now go and have a look at player data we go to our profile you can see near the bottom right 62 out of 62 collectibles that is every single one and if we quickly go to my garage so that is the full squirrel outfit on trials rising all 62 collectibles done and it's taken me a hell of a long time it's actually taken me I'd say about eight and a half hours just to record this video. I'm so glad I got it done though. A massive thank you to Maca91 Productions for the video, like the guide that I followed. Remember, the link to his channel is in the description. That is the end of the video. I really hope it helped you guys out. Thank you for watching.